Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to Rainbow Tarot UK for another Pick a Card reading. Um, it's lovely to have you here uh, as always and today we're doing how does your person, the person on your mind, how do they currently see you and how do they currently see the connection? Uh, as usual we've got our three piles. So we've got pile number one which is the dream catcher card here um, and also this kind of little red um, I suppose a slither of glass, pattern glass. I really like these actually. Um, and pile number two, which is the acorn card, and the little green glass here, pattern glass. And then pile number three, which is the egg, and the little turquoise uh, glass slither here. Okay, so those are your three piles. As I always say, use your intuition, go for the pile that's calling to you. I mean, there might be more than one pile, that's absolutely fine. Um, yeah, that's that's fine, you can listen to more than one pile. Um, but I will see you very soon in your reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number one, welcome. Welcome back to your reading. So today we're doing, aren't we? Um, how do they currently see you and how do they currently see the connection? So. Uh, you chose to come into the reading with the dream catcher card now I've noticed um, that this is actually upside down um, it should actually be that way shouldn't it and I've done the photograph upside down but I'm just going to leave it like that actually sorry the thumbnail I'm just going to leave it like that um, so that's interesting um, I didn't realize it until today when I started to, um, when I put the cards out to get ready for the reading so okay so let's just put that there so we've got the dream catchers. So what do dream catchers do? I mean, they um, filter dreams, don't they? So that you only actually get good dreams. But this is upside down. Okay, so let's see how that if that plays out in your reading. And you also um, got the red slither here. So I'm just going to put that there so that we can see it here. There we go. So we have got, so we've got dream catcher. I've got some other oracle cards here. So let's take a look at those. We have got... Honeysuckle, Woodbine, it says domestic happiness and devoted affection. So we're looking at how they see you and how they see the connection. I will wind the in my arms, so duff the Woodbine, the Honeysuckle, gently and twist. And that is a quote by William Shakespeare. Okay, so Honeysuckle. I mean, Honeysuckle has a beautiful scent, doesn't it? It has a gorgeous scent that comes out. I think it comes out in the evening more, doesn't it, Honeysuckle? Um, anyway, we've got Under My Umbrella. Okay, so that's card number 20, Under My Umbrella. Then we have Taurus. Now, you don't have to be Taurus. They don't have to be Taurus, but it's just the energy of Taurus here. Um, which, yeah. It's, I mean, it's interesting because it says domestic happiness. So Taurus always reminds me of, you know, a lot of things. But... Um, you know, Taurians love stability and particularly domestic stability and security. And I always imagine Taurians in stable kind of long uh, collections of longevity, uh, of comfort and material security. So that, that's interesting. So we also have, now this is my little um, Orosoma deck. It relates to the tarot. So this one is actually, what is this one? This is the Knight of Pentacles, which again is... Could be Taurus, um, Capricorn, or um, Virgo. So there's quite a lot of Earth energy here. Um, so let's put these as how do they see? Let's get out some tarot before we say anything. Uh, let's see what have I got here. Okay, so how does pile number one's person see, currently see pile number one? How do they currently see pile number one, please? Pile number one's person. How do they currently see pile number one? So we have, what's this, the devil? How do they currently see pile number one? We have judgment. How do they currently see pile number one, please? We have the hierophant. How do they currently see part number one, please? How are they currently seeing part number one? The six of wands. 
and one more. How are they currently seeing pile number one? I feel like that one was slipped out there. So this is the Eight of Cups. Right, okay. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, and that seems to slip out. We also see the Nine of Wands here. So I'm going to take that as well. How are they currently viewing or seeing Pearl number one. I feel like they are seeing you as somebody that they want to create um, stability with, that they want to create stability with, that they want to create security with, that they maybe want to protect or preserve. So maybe they want to preserve you or preserve the connection. They see you as something sweet with the honeysuckle. But I'm just noticing with a dream catcher um, upside down, and with the devil, and the devil is all about limiting beliefs and having fears um, and doubts and allowing yourself to be controlled by that. So I feel like this person is viewing you as somebody that they want to be with, certainly, somebody that they that they feel that they want to build something solid up with. But there are fears and doubts, and I think they're allowing, because with the dream catcher upside down, it's making me think they're allowing negativity. Or, or bad dreams or bad thoughts along with the devil devil to get in the way of how they view you so maybe they view you as somebody that they really want to be with or that they really want to connect with but they have a lot of doubts and fears around that um they're, and they're allowing that somehow to um color the way they see you as well so maybe they see you as somebody who's a little bit out of reach a little bit out of particularly with this card here because the sort of ratios are so wide apart a little bit you know because obviously this person is trying to protect this huge bird here with this tiny little umbrella and it makes me feel like this person has the intention of trying to uh what you know wanting to be with you seeing you as something magnificent actually here with this beautiful pink bird seeing you just some something so um you know yeah so magnificent but kind of out of their reach they were i think they're thinking that you were out of their league out of their reach but with the taurus and you know the domestic happiness and the knight of pentacles they want to create something stable and solid with you for sure they're seeing you as somebody who they could do that with so i think they're view, seeing you as somebody who's reliable who's stable who's honest who is um with the taurian card here that is, you know, Taurus is ruled by Venus. And Venus, of course, is the planet, also the planet of love, but also it reminds me of beauty. Uh, Taurians are always renowned for looking after themselves, for loving comfort, loving luxury, um, being attractive, well, not necessarily being attractive, but liking to present themselves in an attractive way, you know, taking care of how they look, um, that kind of thing. So I feel like this person feels that you are very attractive, and they're certainly seeing you as somebody who's very attractive. But somebody who's stable, somebody who maybe is also who's very good at what they do, um, but somebody who's steady and stable and reliable. Uh, but you might, they might be allowing, they might be seeing obstacles somehow to connecting with you. Uh, so it might be for some of you that this situation is, is, is in separation, you know, with this person. Um, because we've also got the judgment card and the hierophant. Now the hierophant comes right under Taurus, which is about stability and security. So again, the hierophant is also about stability, security, and commitment. So I think this person is seeing you as somebody who's very loyal, uh, reliable, committed, stable, um, somebody who kind of knows what who they are. Maybe somebody as well who's got some kind of authority, because the hierophant is usually like a spiritual leader. So maybe somebody who um, has their own business, possibly. Maybe they see you as somebody who has their own business or is in charge, sort of in charge of their life. Somebody who has got the, you know, is organised. They know what they're doing. And with the judge, I feel like maybe as well they're seeing you as somebody who's very spiritual with this judgment card here because this um, woman is almost like a shrine, isn't she? It's almost like she's sort of praying to a shrine. Um, judgment is about rising up. It's about levelling up. And funny enough, I'm just noticing this pentacle. So I think they're seeing you as somebody as well who, who values material um, security, material success, and being comfortable. I think they definitely see you as somebody who is who is somebody who likes to be comfortable, likes to be stable, likes to be secure, but also is spiritual. Because this person in the in in the hierophant is actually in a kind of like a herbal shop, isn't she? Giving advice 
or maybe remedies or it's reminding me of homeopathy or so some of you might be homeopaths, complementary therapists, teachers, um, people who give advice to others. So they're seeing you as being wise. I think they're seeing you as being very wise as well. Um, but something about you which is very stable, secure, and maybe that's in opposition to how they are. Because with the dream catcher being upside down and the devil card here, maybe they're not as um, secure or as stable as you, or they don't see themselves like that. I think they're also seeing you, with this, particularly with this depiction of the devil, with all these beautiful, lovely, sweet treats, as somebody who's really, really tempting. You might be somebody who's out of reach and there's a huge temptation for them uh, somehow, and they want to overindulge in you. I think they're seeing you as somebody that they want to overindulge in with all these different, you know, different treats that, you know, this person is kind of helping themselves to. So I think they're seeing you as something like that. Um, with a six of wands, I think they're viewing you as somebody who knows what they want and knows where they're going and knows how to get to success. I think this person sees you as somebody who's very successful. Um, very, very, very successful. Sort of like, I keep going back to this card, somebody that they're trying, it may be somebody that they're trying to get back with or trying to be with or try to show that they can offer something to you, but you're so, um, you know, magnificent on your own, if you know what I mean. They sort of feel like maybe their attempts are um, to maybe impress you or to um, support you or to show you how they feel are a little bit, yeah, they're, they're, they're doubting that they can meet you, you know, meet your energy, if you like, match you. Um, the Eight of Cups tells me that, again, this, this might have come into separation because the Eight of Cups is normally about walking away from something. Now, this person is looking at all these books. So I thought this person maybe is seeing you as somebody that they want to, with the Knight of Pentacles, return to. So if you're in separation, they're definitely seeing you as somebody they want to return to and they might be trying to figure out how they're going to do that, really, because you've got the Eight of Wands, which is speed. It's about coming towards something quickly. Um, and also, I'm getting with this, particularly with this depiction, it's about manifestation. I feel like this person is trying to manifest, you know, with this fire. They're trying to manifest something with you quickly. Um, but with the Nine of Wands here, uh, it might be a bit of a struggle. They might be feeling that you are, I feel like there's something like you're a little bit out of their league or... They're allowing somehow their doubts or fears uh, to get in the way of it. Or maybe they're thinking that you've got doubts and fears about them, that you are uh, not sure about them, that you um, maybe don't see them as, uh, you know, solid material, something like that. So maybe they're seeing you as somebody who's being very savvy, very intelligent, very wise, who knows uh, what they want, who... Um, if you've been with them before, they're thinking that you want a quality connection this time around. And maybe they're thinking that you don't believe that they would be able to provide that. They would be able to provide that for you. Uh, so it's a bit of a challenge for them. But I definitely see this person as somebody who wants to create or is thinking of ways or trying to, to get to you and create something stable. But their doubts and fears are maybe hindering them or hampering them with that. And it's something about them thinking that you are magnificent. That's the word that I keep getting, keep channeling, magnificent, that you are something, you know, out of this world. Um, and maybe they don't stand much chance with you. Something, but they're thinking that you, they're definitely thinking that they could have something solid with you, maybe. Uh, or wanting to think that they could have something solid with you. But they're, 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 they're going to do it slowly because we've got the Eight of Cups here with this person looking at all these books trying to gain some knowledge and we've also got the Knight of Pentacles which is which is kind of doing it slowly but I feel like ideally they want to manifest something the eight of wands is normally something quick but I feel like this person is trying to manifest something with you um and they'd like it to be quick but it's hand, you know we've got the nine of wands came underneath it so it makes me feel there's challenges to them doing it quickly, so they have to do it slowly, something like that. But they see you as very attractive with the devil card, a huge temptation, with the Taurus as well, especially. They see you as somebody who's very attractive, very sensual, somebody who they uh, have a chem... There's a lot of chemistry. I feel like they see, they see you as somebody who's... Well, there's a lot of chemistry for them anyway. 
Now, in terms of um, astrological signs, and obviously we've got the Taurus there, haven't we? Uh, Devil is Capricorn, Hierophant again is um, Taurus. Six of Wands is uh, Leo energy, and the Eight of Cups is Pisces energy. Eight of Wands is Sagittarius, and Nine of Wands is also Sagittarius. Okay, so let us see now. So that's kind of how they're viewing you. Let's see how they're viewing the connection at the moment. Let's have a look and see. How do they view the connection? How does par number one's person see, currently see, the connection? How are they currently seeing the connection, please? How do they currently see the connection? How does par number one's person currently see the connection? Let's see what we've got here. Past, present and future. Yeah, I think this, this, it's reminding me of they're seeing you as everything. You know, that because past, present and future is everything. It's all aspects of time, isn't it? So I think this person is seeing you as everything. They're seeing every the connection as something also long-standing that they want to be in past, present and future. They're seeing it as all-encompassing, all really. Let's have a look here. How are they currently viewing the connection, please? How is part of one's person currently viewing the connection? Currently viewing the connection, please. Let's see what this one is. We have neighbour. Oh, okay. So maybe they're maybe I mean for some of you, quite literally, this might be somebody that you know is around you. I get the impression with the neighbour is somebody that's close that's around you that is looking at you, maybe looking at you, got a crush on you, wondering about you dreaming about you thinking about you but they may be quite close they may be in your in your in your circle so this could be a crush situation actually or just somebody that you're not even aware of that really you know that likes that likes you um but yeah it could be a crush situation or it could be somebody that's close um it's making me think of crush for some of you because neighbor is somebody that you wouldn't necessarily know uh, I mean, you might say hello, know them in passing, unless you're very close with your neighbours. But most people with their neighbours tend to know them in passing, don't they? They're not, they're not. They've not got a strong bond necessarily most of the time with your neighbour. But you you say hello to them. So it could be like a, a crush or something like that for some of you here, yeah? in terms of how they're currently seeing you or how they're currently seeing the connection. Uh, it could be something as well whereby you're um, you know you're not close at the moment. There isn't a close connection with this neighbour card, it's not, you know, so maybe it's somebody in separation or something like that that's looking at you from afar. Okay, so let's see. And with the neighbour here, you know, um, they want to sort of, um, yeah, something like that, maybe they want to, they're looking at that, like they want to reach out in the connection, but um, there's also some distance. There's also some distance here, but anyway, let's get something else. How are they currently viewing the connection, please? How is Pan and Bond's person currently viewing the connection? How are they currently viewing the connection? How are they currently viewing the connection? Giraffe spirit, see the big picture. See the big picture. Again, it's making me think of, um, you know, like giraffes with their long necks can see things in the distance. It's making you think that this connection is, they're seeing it, it's not like close. The connection isn't close. It's um, something that they're looking at, viewing at from a distance. And so it could be that you're in separation or it's like a crush situation, something like that. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Let's move this up so we can see it. Right, okay, so let's get some tarot out. So how are they? How is part number one's person currently viewing the connection? How are they currently viewing the connection? So we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups. How are they currently viewing the connection? We have the Page of Swords. They're the Death card. And the Three of Pentacles. Now, mm, okay. So then we have the Nine of Cups. So they, they are, oh gosh, they're seeing this connection as a wish fulfillment for them with the Nine of Cups here. The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. It also, again, makes me think of, this is like a, I know this is like a 19, this 
deck is based on sort of 1950s really so this is like a sort of domestic scene isn't it a 1950s sort of domestic scene really of happiness so it makes me think again this person is thinking long term you're there that you are the connection is a wish fulfillment for them for domestic happiness to, to a long term situation if you like um so they're seeing you, the connection is long term of you and you as somebody that they want to be with long term now i can't help feeling that for some of you this might be a work person because we've got the eight of pentacles and we've got the three of pentacles and those are both cards of work um, one is a card of mastery and the other is a card of collaboration so it makes me feel like this person is seeing this as something this connection as something that they want to work on that they want to manifest actually and that they want to collaborate with you now with the death card if some if this is for some of you this is about somebody that you split up from with the death and the judgment they, they definitely want a renewal a rebirth they're looking for um they're seeing the connection something currently that, that could be transformed and um grow grow again but with this particular death card there's a lot of you know rotting food here isn't there um and you know you've got this jar that says salmonella really which is usually poison you've also got the devil card and the dream catcher the other way around so it makes me think that um maybe they're seeing that there's been some toxicity in the connection before um or there are some doubts and fears as well within them around the connection there's some maybe there's some fear there, there there's some fears there um some worries really but i think this person definitely with the king of cups sees um this is an interesting king of cups actually isn't it because the king of cups is usually somebody who is very emotionally balanced and stable but with this king of cups he's drinking here we've got him drinking here and we've got him with a bottle and so it's and he doesn't look that happy does he um i feel like this person is seeing your the connection as a wish fulfillment a dream come true but there's also i feel like there's a lot of doubt with your person i feel like in this particular card as well like so emotionally i think they're feeling this or they're seeing this connection can give them um, is 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 their heart is a heart connection for them, but I don't know why there seems to be some sadness around it as well, and as well with this Tef card. So they want renewal, they want rejuvenation, but there's something in the way of that for them, and maybe it has something to do with there being some toxicity in it, or having been some toxicity in it, or and maybe it goes back to how when I said how they view you, which is maybe somebody out of reach or somebody that's that they can't match. I feel like this person has a lot of doubts in themselves. They have a lot of doubts about themselves. They they may have certain habits as well. So they may, because the devil card is often about having negative behaviour patterns and habits. So maybe this person does, for some of you, drink a little bit or has got some toxic habits or bad habits that kind of prevent them from, I don't know, moving forward positively in themselves and with you. So they see you as a wish a dream come true they would love to have this domestic bliss with you this domestic happiness with you i feel that they're looking in on you from a distance um, and they want to collaborate and they want to work with you but there's there's i think there may be some insecurities some doubts some issues with them um about how they see themselves and how they see uh the connection in some way the Page of Swords is, again, a card of curiosity. So, again, it makes me feel this person is um, still really curious about this connection, still really into this connection. But I think with this little boy holding the scissors, uh, it makes me feel that they know certain things have to be cut out. Maybe certain things about how they behave, what they say, what they do, that they need to... And maybe they've been immature in the past... And they realise that that immaturity has to be cut out um, for you, for you to to entertain them, to take them seriously, something like that. But if it's more like a crush situation, I would say this person is looking at it from you afar. They're looking at the connection. They're seeing the connection as something that they would love to have. It's definitely a wish fulfilment for them. There are maybe if it's a work situation, there are doubts and fears or. They don't believe that they can come forward, something like that, because it is quite hard in a work situation to come forward and declare yourself. But they definitely would love to be with you. They would love to have emotional happiness with you. 
they're very curious about you, they're spying on you, they're checking you out. Um, but they see, ultimately, I think they just see the connection as a wish fulfillment for them. But in terms of um, astrological signs, I mean, eight of pentacles is Virgo, three of pentacles is Capricorn here. Um, death is Scorpio. King of Cups could be uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And Page of Swords could be um, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And of course, Nine of Cups is Pisces. So, let's see if we've got any chance. So, how do they view... How do they currently see the connection? How does Carla Walker currently see the connection? Let's have a look, see what we got. So we have, yeah, we have this little fairy here. Again, I'm going to put that on the Nine of Cups because it is like a wish. It's like a dream. I feel like with fairies and stuff, it's like a dream. So we've got the glasses here. That's interesting. So the glasses, let's put that here with the giraffe. I feel like with the glasses, they're trying to see you. They're trying to check you out. They're looking at you from afar. We've got the dragon here. Okay, so dra immediately I got that. I, I, I had the word destruction in my mind because dragons breathe fire. Um, I feel like there might be some self-destructive elements in them that kind of are preventing them from... Um, the see, the, 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 the just sort of see themselves in a... I don't think this person sees themselves in a good light, I think. I think that's what... what and they, they feel inferior to you. I think that's probably the way I'm seeing it. They feel like you are, like this card, that you are something amazing and they're, they're, they're much smaller compared to you somehow. And then we have this uh, steering wheel here. So I thought this person um, would like to steer the ship, if you like, towards the connection again with the judgment card, um, with the um, death card around renewal. Um, they would like to steer it, but I feel like there might be some struggles with that still because I think they see you as everything. I think they see you as everything. I see the, the connection as everything, but I think there's a lot of doubts for themselves. So maybe they would like to be more centred and steer, steer the, steering the ship in the right kind of direction, if you like. I'm going to put that on the Knight of Pentacles because I think slowly... Uh, this person is hoping to be able to offer something more stable in a very slow way. Um, but maybe they're just, they're just sort of struggling with some doubts and fears at the moment. But anyway, part number one, that's been reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please consider hitting the, uh, the notification bell and the subscribe button. That would really be helping me out. Um, or, you know, leave a comment, hit the like button, anything. That would be great. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next reading. Bye for now. Hey, pile number two, welcome, welcome to your reading. So today we are doing, aren't we, how do they currently see you and how do they currently see the connection? So you chose to come into the reading under this acorn card here. Uh, lovely little card here, so I'm going to put that there. And the little green glass sliver here. So there we go. So I'm going to put that there so we can see it. I pre-shuffled some oracle cards today, so I've got some here, so let's take a look at those. So we have um, Aquarius. Now, you don't have to be Aquarius, it's sort of the energy, so some of you might be Aquarius, but anyway, we've got the energy of Aquarius. How do they currently see you? Then we have Trumpet Gentian, which is this beautiful, um, lovely purple flower. Just noticed, sorry, I'm just pausing because I just noticed the little butterfly there so power and healing to get what you love you first have to be patient with what you have and that is an unknown quote so we've got um, now notice the butterfly there so i'm going to bring that in um this is the four of cups this is my little soma cards here so these this is the four of cups and we have card number 33 weaving flowers so let's just have a little look at this i uh, just want to remind you it is a general reading so just take what resonates you know leave the rest behind if it doesn't resonate for you maybe it resonates with somebody else it's also a timeless reading so it's good for whenever you're finding it um, and if you feel i just want to thank you as well for your lovely support and if you feel that you want to carry on supporting the channel and you haven't yet subscribed just hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload that would really help me out or just, you know, a like or a comment, anything would help to bring, you know, to, to lift me and also just to, you know, to, to bring the channel on. That'd be great. 
So I, I, the first thing I think I'm noticing about this is that I think this person sees you as somebody who is very, very, very original. Um, possibly somebody who's quirky, stands out actually, because with the weaving flowers here, you might be incredibly creative as well. Um, but you might be somebody that they can't really read or they're finding it difficult to read because this person, you can't, we can't see her eyes. Um, and normally they say, don't they, the eyes are the window to the soul. So I feel like this person is maybe maybe seeing you from afar or looking at from you for you from afar, uh, but they can't. They don't. They're not. They can't get close to you, or they don't feel close to you, or they can't read you. Maybe in some way, some something like that. But they can see that you're very um, attractive. I think this card is a very attractive card. Um, they see that you're very creative because this this woman is gathering all the petal blossoms and weaving something from that. So I think they're seeing you as being very creative. Original, I'm just keep getting the words original. I think they think you are very original. Um, so you might be actually be an artist. Some of you might actually be artists, um, creatives, somebody that creates something, you know, from different things and makes something kind of great with it, you know. Um, yeah, so they're seeing you like that. They're seeing you as very intelligent with the Aquarius here, very, um, you know, somebody who is, uh, you know, clever, truthful, confident, um, progressive, innovative. That's kind of like the energy of Aquarius. Somebody who's great, maybe a good communicator. Somebody, um, now it could be for some of you with the Four of Cups and with the power and healing, that this might be a, somebody you're asking about that you're, currently in separation with and maybe with the acorn they're looking for a new start or a new beginning because the acorn is obviously a seed isn't it that grows into an oak tree so maybe they're hoping to have a new beginning with you a new start with you to create something that will grow into something uh, stable and solid like the oak tree um yeah but there's something about i think there's something about you that is um unreadable at the moment or something that they um can't access maybe they can't access emotionally because often like I said the eyes are you know often show convey feeling don't they or the soul what's going on in the soul you know the windows to the soul so because your eyes are covered here maybe they can't access your feelings they don't know what your feelings are they could be looking at you from a distance if it's a crush situation but the four of cups normally indicates disappointment or somebody not being able to um Actually, that could go with why we, we, we've got the eyes being covered here because the Four of Cups is somebody who can't see what's around them, the good that's around them. So maybe this person um, is seeing you as somebody who's not um, accessible somehow, something like that. But anyway, but they've got hopes and dreams that they want to plant a seed for you and them maybe. And if it's something that's come into separation, a seed to begin again, to start again maybe. Um, there's a lot of fire. I feel like they're feeling like um, they feel a lot of fire for you with all this fire here. They're feeling a lot of... Um, there might be some internal... There might be some internal pain for them with you. If it's a separation, something like that. There might be something going on internally that's burning them uh, that they can't connect with you or something like that. Just for some of you. Anyway, let's get some tarot out and see. Um, okay. So how is power number two's person currently seeing power number two, please? How are they currently seeing power number two? How is power number two's person currently seeing power number two? We have the ace of cups. It's the one of chalices in this is the ace of cups. We have the uh, chariot. We have the Eight of Cups. Uh -huh. How are they currently seeing pile number two, please? How are they currently seeing pile number two? We have the Sun. How are they currently seeing pile number two? And we have the Empress. I mean, yeah, 100%. Let's have a little look here. And the Ten of Wands is the overarching energy. So I feel like... They're seeing you as somebody, and it's interesting because the Empress has come right under the weaving flowers, which I said was a creative energy. The Empress is all about creativity. So this person is seeing you as somebody who's incredibly creative, warm, 
caring, nurturing, loving. Now, for some of you, there might be a little bit of an age gap between you and this person, or there might be a little bit of a difference between you and this person, uh, or they're seeing that there are some differences uh, in the connection, possibly. Um, but with the Eight of Cups centering the reading, now the Eight of Cups is normally about a walking away from a situation. So I feel like for some of you, it comes right under this power and healing. Maybe this is they're seeing you as somebody that has walked away from the connection or walked away from them, uh, or you're in separation from them. But I feel like this person with all the books here is trying to figure out, um, and with all these little fairies, like little elves or fairies, it's making me think of them wanting to um, manifest something. I think they're, they're trying to figure out and manifest something uh, with you again. I think they are seeing you as somebody who they feel a lot of love for because we've got the Ace of Cups here, they feel, but it might be the, um, it might be the beginnings or stirrings of, of renewed love, or new love, if you like, with the Acorn and the Ace of Cups, because um, the Ace is the beginning, you know, the start of new love, um, they are seeing you as somebody, I feel like we've got two scenes here, of sort of, um, it's just making me think of stability and security, because we've got a mum with all her kids in the car, and then we've got this kind of party scene as well. And it's making me think of this couple, of maybe generations of a family. And it's also the sun card, which is very happy. So maybe this person is thinking that they want to have a stable situation with you. Uh, but maybe they're thinking that you, they're seeing you, you are on your own. There's something about you being kind of out of reach, out of, because um, this is a single, this is just a mother or a, one parent on their own with all their kids. So it's making me feel that maybe they're seeing you as somebody who's currently on their own, somebody who's currently, you know, capable and confident, you know, is very creative, getting on with their life, uh, maybe got their life sorted out, is maybe a mother. You may might be seeing you as somebody who's maybe a mother or a carer of children. You might actually work with children or have children or have that kind of, um, yeah, because I'm, I'm just noticing the kids in here. So maybe you're somebody who's a mother or you, you work with kids or you have a very maternal You've got a very maternal energy to you, a caring energy to you. Um, and again, the overarching energy is the nine of ten of wands, which is usually the end of a tough cycle, but it shows somebody again um, on her own, managing lots of stuff. So maybe they see you as somebody who's on their own, um, is maybe... Um, you know, very capable, very confident, very creative, very um, very loving, very caring, you know, innovative, all of those things. Um, but they want to, they see you as maybe wanting to start something with you, begin something with you, or renew something with you. And if it's coming to separation, they want healing in that. They want healing and they're trying to figure out how they can uh, move back towards the connection but at the moment, the connection, if, that, if it's in separation, the connection is sort of like you're on your own. You and them are on your, you're on your own. You, you, they see you as being somebody on their own, but still managing everything, still coping with everything. So you're obviously very strong. I think they see you as somebody who's very strong, very capable. Um, yeah. Maybe they see you as somebody who who um, needs a little bit of love in their life, really, because this is quite a cold this is quite a cold image this woman this i feel sorry for this woman is like on her own she's got all these bags she's trying to it's all in blue it feels a bit cool so maybe they're seeing you as somebody who deserves a little bit of love who needs some love who who they want to give love to something like that but in terms of um astrological signs i mean the ace of cups could be any of the water signs of cancer scorpio pisces chariot um what have we got we've got the ace of the eight of cups that is i'm sorry chariot is cancer and the eight of cups is um pisces the sun is um leo energy and the empress would be taurus energy and ten of wands that is um sagittarius energy i think they're seeing you as somebody who make them very happy they're seeing you as somebody who's very social i feel like they're seeing you as somebody who's very sociable um you're very warm I think they're feeling that you are very warm, that you give a lot of support to a lot of other people, but maybe they're also feeling that you uh, don't have um, 
somehow you you are um, sort of on your own coping with stuff or maybe they're feeling that you don't um, that you're a giver but maybe you you don't always get a lot of back or you don't receive much back something like that um, but I, I feel like this person definitely wants to start something with you or renew something with you um, but they're certainly seeing you as somebody very loving very warm very caring very honest very um has a lot of integrity very original you are very 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 original to this person they see you as being ultra ultra creative somebody who takes really good care of themselves who presents themselves in a very attractive way so i think this person is very attractive to you with the empress energy here um i mean maybe you've got your life kind of sorted you know in many respects um in terms of comfort and um abundance and all of that but I think maybe they're seeing maybe they're thinking that you deserve a little bit of love or you need a little, need a little bit of love for yourself something like that but anyway let's get out some tarot and see how or some other oracle cards rather and see how they currently view the connection how does pile number two's person currently view the connection with pile number two how do they currently view the connection with pile number two so I'm going to take that one how do they currently view the connection with pile number two? Home. Oh, my goodness. So home. Yeah, so they're seeing you as somebody to return to. But with this kind of light, it looks like a labyrinth, doesn't it? Like a maze. There's, there's a bit of a... I think they're feeling like there's maybe a little bit of a block to getting back to you. Because, you know, when you go through a maze, you've got to work out, haven't you, how to get through the maze. Um, but they're seeing the situation, the connection as home, but there's maybe some challenges to it or something like that. So let's have a look and see what we have here. How are they currently seeing the connection, please? How is part number two's person currently seeing the connection? How are they currently seeing the connection? Let's go for that one. What do we have here? That spirit, a rebirth is assured, yeah. They, they're wanting a rebirth in this situation. And also, um, bats, um, when they navigate through the dark, they don't do it through sight. Um, they do it through sound. So again, there's something about, um, maybe something is hidden in this situation or it's a little bit of a puzzle to get back to it, you know? Uh, you're out of reach somehow, something like that. So let's get some other one more. Um, how is pile um, number two's person? So apparently seeing the connection. Maybe with the bat here, it's just reminding me of the hangman being upside down. Maybe there needs to be a shift in perspective. They're thinking this things, this situation needs to transform. There needs to be a change in perspective somehow. A way, a different way of doing things. How are they currently seeing the connection, please? Okay, let's see what this one is. We have waiting, yeah, and that goes with that one with the hangman. Maybe, maybe it's in suspension at the minute. Maybe it's you know you're not together at the moment, or you're not you're in separation, or they're waiting. They want to get back to you. They want to be with you, but there's a there's there's a pause on it at the minute uh, somehow. Right. Okay. Let's get some tarot out here. So, how are they currently seeing the connection, please? Let's move these right up. How are they currently seeing the connection? Let's move these up. How are is panel number two person currently seeing the connection? It's part of two person currently seeing the connection. So I have these two. We have um, the chariot again. Right, okay. We have the ace of swords. How oh, are they currently seeing the connection? We have the five of wands. Death. It's funny, death. Did it come out in this position in part number one? I can't remember. Um, and then we have the King of Pentacles. And the overarching energy is the Seven of Pentacles. So this is again, this is a, the overarching energy again is something on pause. Something, um, 
I feel like this person wants to grow this connection, wants to grow this connection, but it's at the moment it's on pause, it's, it's in a reflective mode. So, because the Seven of Pentacles is usually about taking a step back from something with a view to returning to it to make it better. So my sense is that for many of you, this is um, maybe somebody that you're in separation from, or you know, you're not with them, it's not an active connection. It's, it feels like there's a pause energy to it. Um, and they are waiting to get back to you. You definitely feel that the connection definitely feels like home for them. I think they would love for it to move quickly with the chariot car because that is quick uh, movement. But I'm just looking at all these cans that these two women are holding. One of them says risk and one of them says gain. Risk and gain. So maybe there are pros and maybe they're thinking that there are pros and cons somehow to this connection. There are risks to it. Maybe there's with the five of wands, there are challenges to it. Uh, with the death card, the death is all about renewal and rebirth. But again, this particular death card is, is showing all this rotten food. So maybe there's certain toxicities to it or certain problems. You know, you have to you have to maneuver, you have to manage some difficulties with this maze to get back to a wholesomeness, uh, which is what I think they want with you to renew it to. To get back to this um, acorn, because when you plant the acorn, you get this beautiful big oak that grows over a long period of time. So it has a kind of wholesomeness to it. So maybe there's been some toxicity in the situation before. Maybe there's been some risks to it before. Maybe this is a time for healing at the moment. Um, maybe there's some coolness with you or you're keeping yourself to yourself because you've been hurt in this connection. But this person definitely, with, with the ending with the King of Pentacles, they want domestic happiness with you again. They want um, stability and security. They want this home, really, with you again. That is how they're viewing the connection. So if there's been any issues or challenges or you're not together now, I think they want to renew it. But there may be, it's on pause at the moment, but they are figuring out how to get it back on track how to um, into into a more wholesome I feel like with the ace of swords they want it to be more um, they want to cut out maybe anything unwholesome and um, yeah and have truth in it integrity honesty um, have an honest new beginning with you um, I'm just still like noticing all these cakes. Um, and also this woman with a, a, a wedding ring on I feel like they want commitment with that ring there they definitely want they're seeing this situation something that they want commitment in um, maybe there's been um, maybe in this situation there's been lots of other temptations in it and they're trying to cut out all the temptation so that they can be more honest and truthful uh, in this situation, cut out all the all the rottenness that might have been in it before, or all the toxicity. Because this woman is also cleaning. I feel like they're cleaning away. They want to clean out all of the um, all of the bad stuff, maybe. Um, so maybe this is a period of separation, of waiting, of seeing, you know, shifting things. But they definitely want to, or they're definitely seeing the situation or connection as something that they want to have security with, that they want to grow. But maybe there needs to be some healing in the situation. There needs to be some clearing out of toxicity. Some, um, And then they can move towards it. Uh, so I feel like maybe they're thinking there needs to be some healing in the situation so that they can move towards it. Um, get rid of the risks or the, the sabotaging in the connection maybe uh, so they can move towards something stable and wholesome and, and solid really um, yeah but so if it's in so I, I guess that they have us in the, the connections currently is if it's in separation or you're not together they don't see that as being a permanent thing I think they see that as being a time to reflect to make things better, to get rid of what wasn't working, to, um, you know, see things from a different perspective, to, in order to, to grow the situation again, in order to build it again. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. 
let's have so in terms of um i mean the chariot is cancer eight of swords is um, any of the air signs of libra aquarius or gemini mm, five of wands is uh leo energy death is scorpio king of pentacles which reminds me of capricorn and seven of pentacles is um taurus energy but let's ask you know how are they currently seeing the connection how's kind of one's just dropped out and again that is the glasses here so let me just put that let me just put that down there for the minute how are they currently seeing the connection let's put these here so we have um glasses that's, that's interesting because glasses help you to see better and throughout it all we've had a lack of sight haven't we We've had not, you know, you not been able to read you. So maybe they're just thinking, I wish, you know, I want to be able to see. Uh, I want us, well, well, I want to be able to see or connect with power number two clearer because glasses enhance our sight. I want to be able to see them. I want to be able to connect with them. Um, and I want to be able to see a way through any difficulties between me and power number two. I'm going to put that on the back. Then we've got the tree. Well, interesting, look, there it is, the tree of life, which looks like a massive oak tree. So it makes me feel that how they're viewing this connection is they, they, want, to, they want to transform it from a seed to something strong and stable with a lot of roots to it, definitely. So they're looking, I'm going to put that on the King of Pentacles, they're looking for stability and security with you. I mean, the, um, the unicorn here, so it makes me feel they've got a lot of wishes and dreams about the connection, really. So I'm going to put that again on um, the Seven of Pentacles. Again, the mermaid. It makes me feel at the moment maybe you're in two different worlds or they're thinking that you are in a different world to them. I'm going to put that there. You're not quite accessible. And we also have the fairy here. So again, it's making me think of wishes and dreams. Um, but again, another world. So maybe you're in another world at the moment, but they have a lot of hopes and wishes and dreams for you uh, and for them. But anyway, power number two, that's been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please do subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Uh, otherwise, leave a comment, a like. All of that makes a huge difference. But I will see you in your next reading. Bye for now. Hey, power number three, and welcome back to your reading. So today we are doing, aren't we, how do they currently see you and how do they currently see the connection? So you have chosen to come into the reading under this card, which is the egg. Um, beautiful card, actually. Um, I don't know why I feel drawn to read the back. I didn't in the other two, but let's see. It's, a, it's lucky in several cultures around the world. Eggs represent fertility and rebirth. Uh, if you crack open an egg and it has a double yolk, some believe that someone you know or even you may soon be pregnant. Just for some of you, I don't know, because I intuitively read this, there might be just for some of you a separate thing here uh, that are wanting uh, to be pregnant or that are becoming pregnant or something like that. Um, but yeah, that's just um, that's just something that I, as an aside, I just kind of had the you know the thought to read the back, which I didn't in the other two. But anyway, so we have an egg, which is something, you know, sort of in the beginning of something, the very early stages of something. But let's put that there. Uh, we've also got this little turquoise little slither here. So I just want to say um, it's a general reading, so just take the messages that resonate. If they don't resonate, they might be for somebody else. And it is timeless, so it's good for whenever you're finding it. And also to say, if you feel that you want to support the channel, I just want to say thank you very much for all the support you've already um, given the channel, which I really appreciate for all those people that keep coming back to my readings. Thank you so much for that. Um, but if you feel like you haven't subscribed yet and you want to subscribe, that would be one big thing that you could do for me. Plus, um, hit the notification bell. It just takes a couple of seconds. It's free. Um, it would be great if you could do that. But otherwise, you can give me a thumbs up or you can leave a comment but I pre-shuffled some oracle cards as well so let's take a look at those let's see so we've got Capricorn now you could be Capricorn but you don't have to be Capricorn it's just the energy of Capricorn um, that is in the reading so let's have a look here we have Lilac first emotions of love that's interesting so we've got first emotions of love and then we've got an egg which is the beginnings of something Love is the magician that pulls man out of his own hat. And that is a quote by somebody called Ben Hecht. Okay, all right. Then we have Rose Garden, number nine. Okay, so that's interesting because this woman has a caterpillar, it's like a caterpillar around her neck, and then she's holding the butterfly. 
So again, we have the beginnings of something and then the ends of something, or oh, it's completion here. Let's see what we have. Okay, so what's this one? So this one is my Orosoma deck, and this is, oh, the Four of Wands, beautiful. The Four of Wands. So this person, when we're asking how are they seeing you, your person of interest, how are they currently seeing you? I think they're seeing you in lots of different ways. I think they might be for some of you seeing as something that somebody that they want to start something with and that they feel that they could have, um, you know, that it could transform or become, move into something big, really, with the caterpillar here. So for some of you, this might be a crush situation where they're seeing you as someone that they want to start something with, um, with the first emotions of love. They are seeing you as somebody that is um, attracting them. This is a very attractive image. But somebody that they feel that maybe they could grow something with. So it could, could transform from a very early stages to something in its final stages. You know, the progression, if you like. Um, I think with a Capricorn here, they're seeing you as somebody who is very savvy. Who knows exactly uh, what they want. Who is um, determined. Who is hard working. Who is career focused. Um, who is, you know, some Capricorns of, often, um, you know, are good with business, they're good with money, they're good with working with themselves, working for themselves. So I think they're seeing you as somebody who's very intelligent, uh, very, maybe like I say, very career orientated, but somebody who's very um, attractive to them. Um, I don't know why, I'm just getting intuitively. Um, I don't know why, I, I think she's got this all these kind of like all this nature around him and obviously with the lilac here i don't know i think this person just thinks you smell really nice so for some of you that you might wear a certain perfume or have a certain smell about you that they really like that's just for very specific for some of you maybe you wear a certain perfume or something that they feel really drawn to um but they definitely see you with the four of wands as somebody i mean the four of wands is um you know, is kind of like twin flame energy. Uh, it's also um, often associated with a milestone or marriage. Um, so maybe they're seeing you as somebody who they would want to connect with on that level or be with on that level, or certainly somebody who they can celebrate or have a celebratory relationship with, have a really fun and good relationship with. Um, but maybe it's in its early stages at the moment. So maybe at the moment it's an attraction or it's a crush or you're in the early stages of a relationship with this person. Um, but they feel determined. They feel, uh, maybe they feel determined to move it on and move it forward in some way. But let us, let's get some tarot out as well before we say any more. So how are they seeing, how is power number three this person currently seeing power number three? How are they currently seeing, ooh. I'm going to put those because they've dropped out. So we've got the we've got the High Priestess, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune. How are they currently seeing pile number um, three? How are they currently seeing pile number three? Um, we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Hermits. And we have the Two of Pentacles. How are they currently seeing part number three? And the Devil. Okay, so I think they're seeing you as some... I feel like this person has really got you in their sights, actually. Um, they are very, very, very um, attracted to you. I feel like this person is really attracted to you. They find you almost sort of irresistible, actually, with this devil card. That is the, the overarching energy. The devil card is, look, you can see all these tricks. They're seeing you as somebody who's really, really, really um, tempting them, really pulling them in. They feel very attracted to you. They want to overindulge with you, definitely. Definitely want to overindulge with you. And they might be thinking about you obsessively or viewing you obsessively. or, But you are out of reach, can't help feeling with the high priestess and the hermit that they feel that you are out of reach you are not someone that they can access easily the hermit is a card of literally 
you know, the hermit energy of being unobtainable, really. And the high priestess is also a very secret energy. So maybe this is like a secret crush. This is like a secret, uh, where this person's feelings are secret, they are hidden for you, and you are not also accessible to them. Um, but with the Wheel of Fortune here, um, it could be as well for some of you that this situation has been cyclical in nature. So maybe you've got together before and you've come into separation. It could be some of you who've come into separation and they want a new beginning with you. They want a new cycle with you, with the Wheel of Fortune here. But it also is making me feel, because you can see all the seasons in this Wheel of Fortune, um, and also all the different um, ages and stages of womanhood. So you've got a girl, you've got a maiden, you've got a mother, and you've got a crone. And it makes me feel like this person is seeing you as somebody that they could spend, um, and it goes with the four of wands, the kind of marriage, and the whole progression from the caterpillar to the butterfly. And they could see themselves passing the whole of their life with you, their time with you. Yeah, there's that sort of element to it. But at the moment, you you could be in separation from this person, or you because you've come into separation, or because you are, it's a crush situation, or you you haven't got it together with them, maybe, um, or that you're with them, but they they can't act, they feel like they can't access you somehow. Maybe you're emotionally inaccessible to them, or because um, we have this Queen of Cups here, which is quite an interesting Queen of Cups because it's some it shows the Queen of Cups upset and crying. So maybe there's been some upset in this connection so far. There's been some unhappiness, and this person wants to comfort you. Or wants to show you comfort in some way. Um, the Two of Pentacles is a card of... I mean, in this Two of Pentacles, somebody... She's making something, isn't she? She's cooking something up. So I feel like maybe they're seeing you as somebody who is... If you are in separation, who is getting on with their life. Who is, you know, doing things. Is, you know, being creative. Is uh, managing their life in some way. But the situation is sort of like... Um, or again, there is some, um, maybe they're feeling like there's mixed messages with you as well, with the two of pentacles here, um, or you're weighing things up where they're concerned, you're weighing things up, you're deliberating, something like that. But there might have been some toxicity in the situation with the devil card here. There might have been some toxicity, some self-limiting behaviour or self-limiting beliefs. Maybe they're thinking that you are creating doubts or fears in the connection or you're creating barriers in the connection with the devil card here. Something like that. Now, I just had a message. So maybe they want to message you. I've just had a message come up on my computer screen. So maybe they're wanting to message you. Maybe they're wanting to reach out to you. Maybe they're wanting to connect to you. Um, something like that. But anyway, so in terms of... Uh, but they're definitely seeing you as somebody who's very attracting them a lot who's tempting them a lot, who they see a future with. I think this person sees a future with you. Um, they're seeing you as somebody that they want to comfort or want to... So if they've done something, I think they want to comfort or say sorry or reach out and give a message, maybe, or something like that. Um, yeah, so let us get out some um, other cards. So sorry, in terms of astrological... Um, signs. So obviously the, uh, the Queen of Cups could be any of the water signs of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, the Hermit is Virgo. Two of Pentacles is Capricorn and the Devil is Capricorn as well. And we have Capricorn here, don't we? So, I mean, yeah. And Capricorns are kind of Earth energy. So they are all about stability, security, commitment, um, all of that. So I feel like maybe this person wants that with you, but you're somehow inaccessible, possibly. Um, but they want to get it to that. They want to, Maybe it has to be moved through the stages uh, somehow to get to that, you know, uh, where you're in a sort of stable situation with somebody. But let's get some cards out on how they view the uh, connection. So how do they currently view... How does part number three's person currently view the connection? How does part number three's person... Currently view the connection. How do I currently view the connection? How does someone please person currently view the connection? Um, I feel like I want to go for that one. Which is retreat. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? So that makes me feel that the connection is in separation with retreat here, which is what we were saying before, or you're not accessible. You know, it could be a no-contact situation as well. 
Uh, let's do this. But with a bird here, it's making me think, and with a message, because bird, birds chatter, they uh, they make me think of communication. So I feel like this person wants communication um, with the message that came up on the screen. So how do they currently view the connection? How is Pine Number 3's person currently viewing the connection? Uh, Cat Spirit, claim your independence. And it's card number 13 making me think of death which is rebirth and renewal but we have claim your independence here so let's see what that is okay so let's get out one of these how are they currently viewing the connection how are they currently viewing the connection how about that one Waiting. Now this came out in pile number two. So yeah, there's an element of this being on pause, this situation being on pause or inaccessible or not um, not active at the moment. So they view it as not being uh, in an active state at the moment. Let's get some uh, tarot. So how are they viewing this connection? How is There was a lot that came out. I don't know how many I've got there. But we've got the Hierophant, we've got the Four of Cups, now we, no, we didn't have the Four of Cups, that came out in number two, I think. Uh, Four of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, isn't that interesting, we got exactly five that came out. The King of Swords and the Ace of Wands. How are they currently viewed? With the Hierophant, they definitely want commitment, but I can't help feeling that it's, it's, um, yeah, they want commitment, which kind of leads you to think that it's the sort of end of, you know, the, the, the kind of last stage of a settled relationship, isn't it, when you get to commitment. So there's something about progress moving through something in this um, relationship where it may be that it's renewal and rebirth with the egg, um, but they want to get it back or to a state of commitment. So, And they recognise maybe that it needs to go through stages to get to that because we also have the page of pentacles um here and right next to the king of swords so i feel like they need to, this person is seeing this as needing to go through stages but the end goal if you like is to have commitment with you but at the moment it's in a waiting phase it's independent it's in a retreat phase somebody um you know maybe there's been some dissatisfaction because this person is saying no aren't they they're saying no to this drink that's being offered to them she's saying no so i feel like maybe there, there, there's been some dissatisfaction in the connection before um but with the ace of wands ending the reading i feel like this person wants a new beginning here goes with the egg um this person wants to have a new start with you a fiery new start a passionate new beginning uh, to sweep clean to sweep it clean with this little feather bus duster here to sweep it clean to get rid of um stuff that might have gone down before and i feel like maybe uh they want it to be more truthful more authentic with the king of swords here they want it to be uh yeah more honest more yeah more truthful more have more integrity um Maybe they want to be more mature in it when they come back to it. They want to have more maturity. Because uh, here with this little page of pentacles, I'm just seeing them being, you know, throwing away all the plates and being a bit silly and mischievous. So maybe they were a little bit... It comes right under the Queen of Cups who is upset here. So maybe they behaved immaturely or in a way that was reckless or silly and they're regretting that now. So I feel like maybe they've got regrets. Um... And maybe they thought they wanted their independence, but in actual fact, they've ended up just waiting to be in a situation with you again. Something like that. Um, and maybe this time around with the King of Swords, they want to be wiser. They want to be more truthful, more direct. Maybe they weren't before. Maybe they're thinking that you are not interested somehow here with the Four of Cups. But they want commitment and they want a new beginning, which means the end result would be commitment with you. That is how they're viewing the situation let's see what's at the bottom because i didn't see what was at the bottom here let's see what's at the bottom the fall exactly what did i say a new beginning they want a new beginning the new beginning is a the fall is a new beginning a brand new start there might be risks to it 
um, but they want that new beginning with you. It comes right next to the Ace of Wands. So they're so if you're in separation, they want a renewal. They want a rebirth. They want uh, to work hard at it again. They want there to be, um, again, the stirrings of love with the first emotions of love. Uh, rose garden. Roses represent love, don't they? So maybe they want, you know, they, it's, it's, um, they want to show you love with the Four of Wands. They want it to be a loving relationship again. They, With the Four of Wands being a sort of like um, twin flame energy, I feel like they feel there's a strong connection with you and them, that they, um, yeah, that they want to overcome. I feel like they want to overcome, they want to message you, they want to connect with you. If you are keeping yourself in retreat, in retreat mode or you are just getting on with your life or you are, um, maybe you're healing. Maybe they see you as maybe healing at the moment. Um... Maybe they're also feeling that you need to have a little bit of time to heal. Maybe they need to have a little bit of time to heal. That's why you've got the waiting card. So they're waiting before, but ultimately, before they make a move. But ultimately, um, they want a new beginning with you that will lead to commitment, really. And they, I think they're saying about them wanting you to see the potential again of the connection. The fact that it could, um, you could spend, you know, you could spend the rest of your lives together. That you could have renewed commitment that you could be happy again together something like that so the higher front is taurus four of cups is um cancer page of pentacles any of the earth signs of capricorn taurus or virgo king of swords any of the air signs of a libra aquarius gemini and then the ace of Wands. any of the i think we've got all the star signs here haven't we any of the um uh, fire signs of aries leo or sagittarius so let's get out some charms. So let's see. So, you know, how... Sorry, one's just fallen out. I'm going to take it. But I'm going to say, how are they viewing... How are they viewing the connection? Let me take those out and see what they are. So we've got... Oh, see, listen, we've got owl, you see. And owls represent wisdom. So they definitely feel that they need to be wiser in the connection. They need to have be um, more mature. In the connection, I'm going to put that on the King of Swords. Honest, have integrity. Uh, we've got the lizard here, which again, lizards are, is transformative um, because I think lizards—is it lizards or geckos or lizards? They're, they're tails. They can their tails can regenerate really, really quickly. So I feel like this person wants to regenerate this situation. I'm going to put that on the egg here, and then we've also got this little fairy in a star. So star makes me think of healing. So I feel like this person wants healing in this situation and they had dreams and wishes for the connection to, to happen again. So I'm going to put that on the line. So part number three, that's been your reading. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It just takes a couple of seconds. It's absolutely free and uh, it really means a lot to me. Otherwise, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next reading. Bye for now.